just as the original stream ends with its delay on it, we are on our way into the next stream on the mainstream. This will be Cherry Hill East versus Aragon High School. Uh, game one, Aragon High School took it for anyone who is just tuning in right now. Ah, uh, not Aragon High School, my bad. Cherry Hill East took it. Really dominant fashion, no deaths on their mid. Queen of Pain. Really showing their stuff in this in that first game. And now we'll be ready to see if they can do it again in game two. They went quite dominant stride before. So let's see if that was a fluke or if that was the real deal. And we will see Aragon High School ban out the Shadow Fiend first. Not opting to ban out any of the heroes that had issues with last time. Well, Cherry Hill East will ban out the Bounty Hunter. Uh, same ban as they did the Radiant first time. And Aragon High School once again takes out Ember Spirit. So Shadow Fiend, Ember Spirit, they're taking the same drafts. Perhaps thinking, okay, well, they destroyed us before, but if they get these these heroes, they'll probably be able to destroy us even harder. Ten seconds remaining. And we'll be able to see Five Cherry Hill East Force that felt that any hero was causing particular issues. Uh, and they decide, no, we're just going to remove that Dazzle again. Not wanting to deal with that shallow grave. Just far too strong to deal with. Argon High School will be the first pick this time, so they could look to take out or pick up one of the strongest heroes avail that are in this patch, or one of the stronger heroes in this patch. Doom is available, and I was thinking of uh, offlane heroes last time. Radiant I don't know how I forgot pick. Doom, as he is really good this patch with his free Radiance and free Heart, and we will actually see Chester Radiant Hill, Cherry Hill pick. East, picking up that Doom. Oh, I am excited. I love this hero, he's like one of my favorites, top 3 most played, in fact. Uh, well, not out of everyone, but I, for myself, he's my third most played hero. And with his new buffs, he is insane. The free Radiance and the free uh, uh, Heart, I honestly felt he was still okay before. Like, Ten the fact that you had to get Ags was just horrible, but he was still Five winnable with, like, remaining. I won... Quite a few games actually had like a 70 or 60 percent win rate on 6.84 with him and then he got this huge buff and so now he is really strong the focus is off of doom and onto scorched earth off of devour and also yeah again onto scorched earth but doesn't really make a difference here he is Lena. still same one strong hero that he was uh before it's just pick. he's even stronger now and he kind of just does a ton of damage and lena the other fiery hero or one of the many fire heroes available we get picked up so they've got two delete hero buttons on cherry hill east both with the laguna blade and the doom aragon high school gonna be a tough game for them here they might be starting most fights 3v5 could even be starting at 2v5 if doom gets a refresher so they will have to watch out for that five seconds remaining Man, that doom so good let's see if that earth shaker can Reserve do things time. this time. Last game, Cuckoo did not have the best game. He made some epic echo slams that made it look like they might be able to come back, but it just wasn't enough. They ended up losing in the end anyway. And they'll actually pick up a clockwork. Dire team high school. Shh. Clockwork could be pretty good here. Clockwork is obviously very nice at finding a lot of solo kills, but at the same time, he has some games where he's just a uh, non factor. He just doesn't do anything. So I'll actually see if Aragon High School will be able to utilize him remaining. well in this situation. Radiant team ban. If they are, can, they can probably really shut down the Slainer in fights with a good hook onto her as she won't really be able to do too much, especially if Clockwork gets Blade Mail. Aragon High School is going to ban out that Winter oh. Wyvern. And, and Cherry Hill ban. East is going to ban out the Anti-Mage. Uh, Winter Wyvern, of course, still strong with her. Uh, despite her nerfs, as she just dishes out a lot of damage, allows you to really lock down people and kill them. And Anti Mage is just an annoying carry to deal with. He gets away really easy. Not the best against Doom, as Doom can just Doom him. He can't blink anymore. Shadow Demon Radiant is actually going to be move, removed by Aragon High School. That is a very interesting choice, as that hero like very rarely gets picked. Maybe they're planning on picking something like a Spectre or a like. 
Radiant team trying to think of the other one. Phantom Lancer, that would really get destroyed by Shadow Demon. And wow, speaking of heroes that aren't commonly picked, there's Chaos Knight in the pool now. Chaos Knight will be on the side of Chester Hill East. They're going for the red draft this game. They've got their, their red Doombringer, their red Lena, and their red Chaos Knight now. Unfortunately, Clockwork and Urshaker, both very red-themed heroes, have been snatched up by Aragon High School. Chaos Knight is pretty uncommon pick. We could see a Wisp here Ten to team with him, remaining. as without that Wisp, he doesn't really seem to do as well as he would otherwise, Five but he's still remaining. okay. Juggernaut has been removed by Cherry Hill East. They did play against the Juggernaut last game. Reserve time. And maybe they felt that it was just too frustrating. They'd have quite a few times where they like went to gank the Juggernaut, but he just spun and TP'd away. But that's, uh... So maybe they were like, uh, we don't want to risk that again, so let's just remove them. Now, Aragon High School taking quite a while with this Chaos Knight. It's, uh... Interesting hero to be thrown into the mix. Not really one you think about traditional counties for. But actually, Aragon High School is going to pick up Venomancer, Radiant a hero team. that's been gaining quite a lot of popularity on this patch to get quite a few buffs on 6.85 that have really pushed him into the limelight again, especially in combination with an Alchemist who farms him up like in 11 minute Aghanims. And then you have a Venomancer with this Aghanim Scepter that just will ult and kill your entire team, but he's a support Venomancer, so even better. Ten seconds remaining. With that Phenomancer, probably going to be the Doom Five target. If he hasn't remaining. altered, of course, though if he has, let's just look at Poison Nova here. Poison Nova does 80 damage Reserve a second target. on the maximum level. Alchemist! Ooh, boy. This is a 6.85 game. Some crazy picks coming out. Who's got a good Ags? Doom's got a good Ags. Lena's got a good Ags. Alchemist is a good choice this game. Mainly, I would imagine it was a block pick, though, from Cherry High East. Cherry Hill East, as having an Alk give the Venomancer a really early Ags, even though the Venomancer is a support, is just way too good. And it just can destroy you. As, and remaining. with this Alk now, we have Doom with his super high healing, 48 per second. Remaining. And Alk with his super high healing. At a max at max level being Reserve time. 100 a second will completely out heal the poison nova, but it does essentially mean he, he's only healing 20 HP a second. Doom mainly out heals it quite a bit, so Venomats will struggle a little bit killing off those two heroes in these games that they can just kind of eat through the dot and they don't really lose much move speed thanks to Chemical Rage. Visage, Visage, jeez, wow, Whew. Radiant <laughs> Some crazy team picks today. This is another hero that doesn't get picked too often. Secret likes to run him, but not too much success. Jaw is going to be banned out immediately by Cherry High East. Back. Cherry Hill East, my bad. They do not want to deal with that vi Jaw Visage combo. It's really strong. Radiant and Lion will be the final ban for Aragon High School again. Do not want to get lionized. Alchemist, unfortunately, being forced in that block pick. Throw off the red draft and throw in a little bit of purple. Still kind of reddish, I guess. He does have a little bit of orange on his coat. But overall, not really part of the theme. So Ar Aragon High School. Looks like the Venom will be a mid now with that Visage pickup. Unless there's a ca crazy carry Visage thing that some people do in pubs, but I've never really seen in any other games than those. So most likely it will be a mid Venomancer. Mid Venomancer is quite strong against Lena. I imagine he's going to be losing his lane. Lena is just it's just so much burst for Venomancer to deal with. Venomancer is still really squishy, and it's just like just it's just so hard for the Venomancer essentially to deal with that burst from Lena, and he can't really kill the Lena either because he can't Slada. risk running into her slaughter. Would it be the pickup Dyer for Chester Hill East? So, this is a weird draft. This is a really weird draft. This is a 5 core, it's looking like. Unless they run Lena and Alk support. Oh, unless it's roaming Chaos Knight Slush's way. Ooh. Mm. I'll be interested to see what Cherry Hill East does with these heroes. They had an amazing game last game. There's no way that you run the Doom as support. It used to be viable, but now he just needs that Aghanim's way too much to be run as a support. Five seconds Alk 
could be, but then you're like getting rid of his insane farming speeds He's and his like axe giving ability. And Sada, there's no way you run Sada as a support. Sada just dies. Like he he needs a blink dagger. He needs farming items. He has mana problems as well that need to be mitigated by a lot of items. So like he's most likely going to be a core. I'm thinking this will be a Lena Chaos Knight, a uh, dual support with a um. I'm going to say a, whoa, Bristleback <laughs> final pick for Aragon High School. Lena Chaos Knight, dual support, Chaos Knight's roaming, Doom offlane, Alchemist hard carry, and Slaughter mid, or Alchemist mid, Slaughter carry, most likely that the uh, second one, Alchemist mid, Slaughter carry. Especially since they are Radiant Alchemist, can stack up the Ancient camps without having to leave the lane, and can actually stack two camps at once, if he does it right. Also, Acid Spray completely forces people out of lanes, Venomancer will have a tough time. As well as that, if, if Venomancer is mid, which he most likely will be as he, he's being played by Hobo Cannon, he will be able to get free gold from the Venom Awards. Alright, let's look at this real quick. Nonsuch was a support player, so was Kentucky Fried Justice, so I, I was right. Prepare I was right. For battle. Che. Ooh. Long Kwa, he was, I forget his name last game, but he was the offlane player last game. Am I calling this perfectly? Mm. Yep, called it perfectly. Will be an Alchemid, Slaughter carry, Doom, offlane, and dual support of Lina and Chaos Knight. Odilo will be on the Slaughter, Sensei on the Alk, Mr. Nonsuch on the Chaos Knight, Long Kwa on the Doom, and Kentucky Fried Justice on the Lina. And looks like they're both trying to go for some sneaky plays here, trying to mimic what Aragon High School did last game, just as Aragon High School is smoked up, trying to do the same thing they did last game. It's not going to work this time, though, guys. Cherry High's man uh, has wised up to your strats. But let's go through the heroes. Hobo Cannon will be playing the Venomancer. He is their mid player, so it will be mid. Cuckoo on the Earthshaker once again. Rudder Storm, they're off on the Clockwork. Pandas. I don't know why the camera does that on the Visage. Oh, Rider Storm's got to be careful here. Oh, they're going to block up camps. They think that Doom might be jungling, but he is not. He is not going to be jungling. But they, Alk will be able to the stack this if he wants. Begins. What they should really be doing, though, is blocking up these Ancients, since Alk can just stand right here and Acid Spray here, and he has the Ancients in threat. And finally, we're going to have Photon playing that Bristleback. Going for an aggro try once again. Will it work out this time? Last time the aggro try did not go the greatest, this time it will be against, ooh, Solo Eldelo. He will have Kentucky Fried Justice here, it will be a try versus a duel. This could work out better for Aragon High School. Sensei, he's going to put a ward on his own high ground here. I'm not actually entirely sure how much vision that gives him, quite a bit actually. This will be pretty good, no vision of runes, which is one of the most important things playing Alchemid. And he did actually get the bounty rune. Which I glossed over while looking through the heroes. The bounty runes, as I was saying, are one of the best parts about the Alchemist mid. It's just so much free gold from them that you wouldn't otherwise be getting since you'd be in the safe lane and maybe you'd be able to get one, but you really just need to be able to choose which rune you go for, like, because you're just getting so much gold essentially. 250 basically every two minutes that's a huge amount of extra gold to be getting an extra 125 gpm if you're getting them every time and they're also scaling each time you get them too so over here sensei is doing what we see alks do typically he's spamming up the acid spray making it hard for veno to be in the lane i just need to check plague wards yep he gets the grievous greed off of them they don't get affected by acid spray at all not even minus armored but the Grievous Greed is enough. He's going to get so much farm in the lane, especially if he starts stacking up these Ancients with the Acid Spray. No, you don't. But here at bottom, let's take a look at these last hits. Sada is having a tough time in the lane compared to this Bristleback, but it does not really matter because the other two lanes are winning and they are winning hard. Mr. Nonsuch was looking to stack this camp. He's going to realize it's blocked. Might invest the time into unblocking it. But they're most likely just going to go for stacks. And now Kentucky Fried Justice and Odilo are stuck between a rock and a hard place. 
Kentucky Fried Justice is going to go down. That will be your first blood. Cuckoo gets it. Photon now trying to go into Edelo. He has no mana remaining. And Edelo is just too tanky. With Mr. Nonsuch behind, though, they might look for someone now. Photon has no mana for Core Spray. It's actually entirely out. He had one cast before. They don't know Mr. Nonsuch is there. He's going to snag up that level 2. This is a pretty hard kill. Imagine getting that... But no matter at mid would be much easier. And we're actually gonna see on top Doom is manning up onto Radish Storm, who's gonna get his mana drained though. Rushing a Midas, it would appear, with that quick gloves of haste. Going for a 2-1 build for now at level 3, and we're actually gonna see Mr. Nonsuch is gonna get spotted out by pandas. And be forced back. So that gank, if you wanted to go for it, he can't anymore. As he has been found out. With Kentucky Fried Justice now, the other. Could actually get it. Ward gets put down, eats a tree for it. For even more vision. Cuckoo does not know. This gives quite a lot of vision, I'm fairly sure. All of that area. That is insane. But you do have to chop down a tree for it, which means you have to keep that tree chopped down, otherwise it will regrow inside of the ward. Here at top. Long claw. Having Bit of an issue in this lane. Still going pretty well for him, but not as much as he would like. As Rudder Storm is just able to burn off so much mana with that power cogs. So he doesn't have Devour up when he needs it, and he doesn't have Scorched Earth up when he needs it. And he's actually going for the classic, the Max Devour build. Personally, I used to, at the start of the patch, I still thought Max Devour was the way, but having played a few games on Doom now, I think, find that Max Scorched Earth just gives you way too much kill potential to be passed up. Chaos Knight is actually going to kill this little bot lane as I went on my tangent. I'm going to try and kill off this Earthshaker illusion, but it is just an illusion. Very tanky due to its melee form though. Here at top now, Doom's finally gonna have mana for Devour. Does he want to use it immediately? Has a War Stomp, and does not have much of another creep available. As we see, Kentucky Fried Justice getting gone on has two cool spray stacks on him. Photon has full mana, and this final one should just get it. He's just gonna slap him, bring down the Alina. Mr. Nonsuch unable to do anything. Same with Ildelo. Now Ildelo might be in a position. Get killed here as Photon's gonna run and start passing up scrolls. But Ildelo's gonna run away. Pandas does not have the Grave Chill of. Oh, he does have the Grave Chill available. Isn't gonna use it now. Pandas could be in a position as he gets Reality Rifted back into a stun. And he will just go down with the Light Strike away from Lena. And the auto attack from Chaos Knight he is brought down. So they do end up getting the support in Revenge. Game, not going as heavily in the favor of Cherry Hill East this time, but still going pretty well for them. Are there Ancient Stacks? Nope. No stacks, in fact. I really feel like this Alk is making a huge mistake by not stacking up this camp. You can just get so much gold by standing here and just pressing Q and clicking there. It's kind of ridiculous. It's like you can get to a four stack. You're actually going to see bottom people dropping low. Dealer was specially with four cool sprays. But who Alk's gonna get the bounty and that is what he wanted. Could go for something on Hobo Cannon now. Nope, no stun, so he can't. Just gonna look to get some CS here. Sitting on 2.6k gold. Might be going for that radiance. If he wanted a Midas, he could already have it. But most likely going for the radiance. Hobo Cannon's gonna have the rune secured for him now. Has a Basilius. Really not doing too well on this lane. Let's just take a quick peek at the current GPMs. Alk sitting at 622, more than doubling the next highest. That is just Alchemist right there. He's going to move into the jungle now where the lane is pushed out. Try and farm it up a little bit. Here at bottom, Idillo. Now out of mana, going to have Basilius though to help out with that. Doom force back to base, decides that he, he needs to get his mana back. He's going to probably look to Doom someone in a second here. Invoke his oh, namesake. Hey. Bristleback's a pretty good target for it. Uh, as he does finish up that Midas. Punches up a TSP scroll, and indeed he will be looking for a Doom on someone. He TPs bottom. 
Do they know he's there? They do not. Or else it would have been pinged out most likely. He's gonna run forwards. He's so slow though. He's gonna activate his uh, Scorched Earth and just doom the Visage. And poor Visage gonna be going down once again. Now Photon maybe could go down. He's got his Bristle back. Cool Spray is doing a lot of damage. But better Radiance and Heart is there. Midas is used immediately. Longqua has to watch out. He only has one armor and the cool space are stacking up four now. We find out Photon, but Photon could just probably turn his back and go to town. They have no way of getting in front of him here. Idealo is trying to go there. They're gonna take so much damage from Kill Space while he gets mouth though. Getting solo with a fish, and this could be what they need. Photon brings down one. Is he gonna be able to bring down two? His turning around does not take enough damage, but they are gonna be able to get Longqua down in the end. Three for two at the end of that exchange. Heavily favoring Aragon High School there. Their aggressive tri lane working out much better than it was before. But Alk's about to have a Radiance. There's no way that he's not getting this, right? Like he has 3.8k gold around about sitting in his bank. And with this, he should be purchasing it up. And yep, that's going to be a Relic. 8 minutes, 27 seconds. And he has his Relic ready. 400 gold as well. He is farming hard and he is farming fast. Doesn't even need those ancient stacks. Mm. As for this bottom lane, hopefully Cherry Hill East will remember the lesson of never chasing a Bristleback. And now Bristleback's going to be the one chasing the deal a lot. He's going to use his but they still need to fight, so Stun gets missed onto Photon. But now it looks like Panda's the target. He's just going to get brought down very quickly with the toss of the concoction. Sensei looking for that kill. He's just gonna farm though. He cannot find it. Fight the TP in. And the task toss. Actually, only has two levels in Grievel's Creed. As Clockwork manages to bring down Doom with the help of Grievel at top. Oh, now we're gonna see. Photon's getting gone on. Venogale comes in though. Idealo is gonna drop immediately to this. And Mr. Nonsuch is looking to be up next. And Mr. Nonsuch is brought down. Now Sensei's trying to run away. Photon. Pretty low too. Does Sensei just man up on this? He is going to Photon. Ooh, it's so risky. Now with the backup though, he should just go down. He's going to buy out. He's looking to get something, but Photon's able to get away. Okay, uh, my announcer is clearly the default, so I don't know what is up with that, but it is stuck on Rick and Morty. Yeah, okay. Right, I don't want to deprive you guys of too much action, so I will just uh, load out, clear shuffle, there we go. Right, hopefully that fixed it, but I did change it before since someone requested that I, I remove my Rick and Morty amounts of pack, which I was meaning to, but just haven't got enough to do it. That's it goes down in mid. And it just didn't save, I guess. Well, Sensei could get gone on now. He does not have that much armor, so this pulls, this Noxious Screw is removing quite a lot. But with the concoction, Photon's gonna be forced back. This has to be doing a lot of work. Two Photon here. Going for that Vanguard first, it would appear. Sensei looking for that. Lost it. Nice. Never see. This lot are killing off the Visage down here. Visage unable to find Kentucky Fried Justice, so he's just gonna TP back to base. But now Doom is in some trouble. He's trying to get the Rider Storm kill. Echo Sam is used, but just doesn't do anything. But the hit. Oh, he hits a creep. Cuckoo. Not finding that kill. Rider Storm will live through the Doom, though. Not really want the, what the Doom wants. He could have gotten a double there, maybe. But. He does not end up getting it. I will live back to base. Should be happy with that kill though anyway. Cuckoo was so close to having the Doom. But the Doom just like... Just misclicks in the middle of the creep wave. I will not find the kill. Alk now has his Radiance up at 11 minutes 50 seconds getting the Radiance. Very nice time. Mr. Nonsuch getting gone on now. Trying to be brought down. Just gonna know that he's gonna die. <laughs> trying to go on Hobo Cannon but... Unable to really do too much before he gets stunned up by Cuckoo and brought down. The Pogo Cannon should be going down now though, and maybe Cuckoo can follow with this Radiance on Sensei. 
It's getting burnt up. Amplify damage is there. Gonna grab the haste rune and try and pursue out Cuckoo here. As we see, Visage is actually gonna bring down Molina here, but the focus. Oh! Odelo is gonna get brought down by the Clockwork. Cuckoo will get burnt down by the Radiance. And a Storm looking for more, but even with that haste, he should not be able to get killed here. Sensei. Lusting up now has the maxed out Grievous Greed level 2 ultimate. Can I turn off his Radiance? Interesting move there. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower Imagine is that under is just attack. a misclick. No, he's, he's definitely it's on and off. Okay, Visage has his, I mean, uh, Bristleback has his mini level. I'm gonna see four TPs in. Wow, count of four. Sensei's chasing onto the Visage. Visage is trying to run away. He's gonna get stunned up and pulled back. Reality Rift somehow not getting fogged. Insane! Reality Rift always gets fogged, so I don't know how that happened. And now it looks like Photon might be in some danger. He's gonna run over to the mid lane as Sensei's trying to chase him out. Sensei realizes he's not gonna be able to find him. Alpha Wolf gets eaten up by Doom. And in the end, it will only be a Visage kill after four rotations. Some damage done to this mid lane, not substantial though. With these familiars coming in though, maybe they can do a little bit more. Both fully out of damage at this point. Maybe. Oh. Oh, that stun is flying through. Photon is doomed. There is no uh, short shot for a little while, but it will be up now. The Bristleback is still there, remember, with this doom. Without an Aghanim Scepter. Visage birds are coming in for these stuns. They do not find the first one. Doom is now expired. Photon, could he get away here? Stun comes out. Oh, he might want to turn around. On the cast, but Photon will go down in the end. Sensei's better will try and run now. He has the regen, but only for one more second, and it will be expiring. Longqua is trying to find the kill. Sensei's farming up. Longqua is just going to force back pandas. He has no mana, though. He could get turned on here, trying to get stunned, but he won't be. As we see, Sensei just TPs back to base. During all of that, Pogo Cannon was setting up wards on the top tower. Looks like he might be going for an Aghanim Scepter with the gold he is currently holding. TP score gets bought Radiance top tower into the uh, stash twice. That's an issue I find happens a lot as we're going to see a Vidalo getting run on by Radastorm. Radastorm gets Laguna, but the two man Echo Slam brings down both Cuckoo. Going crazy. Now one Clark could be in some danger here. He has Scorched Earth, but it's off up already. He's doing some damage, but not really as much as he needs. He's healing up. The core sprays are building up. He has 12 armor. None, no such is going to come in. He's going to try and get Photon. Valley Rift gets cancelled. Pulls Photon away. Stun. Hits on two. Photon still trying to chase down Longclaw. Longclaw is going to be able to chase away. None such though might go down now. None such needs to back up and just let the Radiance do its work. Whoa, Photon kill, will be brought down uh, in the end uh, by Sensei. Kill. Double, double kill. So in the end there, they do end up losing the Lina and the Sada for the Bristle and the Urshaker. Even trade, though I imagine actually going heavily in the favor of Sensei, though I don't think it counted the earlier two kills, just those ones. Sensei now has his boots to travel up, delivering an item. Gonna be a Yasha going for that Manta build, perhaps. As we see, Alk's doing that a lot these days. Might have been watching RTZ stream earlier where he was doing that. Or perhaps the qualifiers. Very good with the Octarine core. Oh, as we're going to see, actually, Pandas is getting gone now. This is basically going to be thrown out. We hook shot through, stuns up Sensei, but not for long enough. Sensei is going to be able to find the kill on the Vistage, but now he might go down. This is non such as here. They're trying to find Rudderstorm, but it's just not happening. Rudderstorm does end up getting stunned up and pulled back. He is going to go down to Mr. non such here, unless he can get away. Now Sensei is taking so much damage. Three snots up on him. He's going to channel up his unstable concoction now. Turn around, stun, throw it onto Photon. The ver birds are there doing a lot. Cuckoo is also there. Odilo is coming in. Sensei is going to get brought down by the cool sprays, but Cuckoo is next and Photon has already been brought down. So, and it's a 4 for 2 in Cherry Hill East's favor as the Visage Birds just bail. Doom's been farming up in the meantime. Not going for an Aghanim's first. Might be going for a Shiva's, though. Maybe an AC, although I imagine that would be something that Alp will want to pick up soon and not put on the Doom. Uh, as far as this Midas purchase goes, I should have discussed it earlier, but I really feel 
is the Midas, and let's just take a quick look at this net worth. Whew. Out pretty much doubling the highest for Aragon High School. That's to be expected, though. Same with Doom, with Devour, and Midas. To be expected. As for this Midas pickup, I really feel like it was a bad choice. Like, he could have had a... It's just so much more. He could have had a blink dagger. He could have been halfway to his Ags. He would have Ags right now if he had not gone for Midas. I was gonna go and farm top. Midas on Doom, though, like, it makes you farm fast. You're already farming fast with the Devourer, so I just really feel as though you don't need that hand of Midas as much as people get it. Cuckoo's in a position to go for something here. Does he have a blink dagger? No, he's 1500 gold, though. Just needs a little bit more, and he'll have it. Tucky Fight Justice is, is going to be spotted out. Maybe Radistar goes for the hook. He's going to hook onto Idil. Hooks it in. Blade Mail is there. Idil is not having a good time in this game. He's getting killed off. He will eventually go down right now. Vina is brought down solely by the Visage Birds. And now non such is going to get brought down with an Echo Slam and an Enchant Totem. As we see at top here now, Sensei brings down the Visage. Doom is looking for something off of this. Photon is there. He's getting used to Doom. No, long call might actually go down in there. Nope, he uses Doom on Photon. That is a heavy use of Doom as Alk actually manages to bring down the Venom at top, but then ends up dying to the Visage Birds. So in the end, Alk gets a double kill by himself. Actually going for the Sunge and Yasha here, rather than the build that we see a lot of Alks doing where they get the uh, Manta style. Interesting choice. Mostly we're seeing Manta style Octarine if you're buying a Radiance because the Octarine core allows your chemical rage to have only 5 seconds of downtime which is a huge deal on an Alchemist as that is basically what he needs to live and Acid Spray. As you see Bristleback is actually able to find Lena. Acid Spray only has uh, around about like 2 or so seconds of downtime with that Octarine core. So that's the build that a lot of people are going for these days. He's gonna go to the Sunjin Yosha. Maybe he could oh cancels the TP. Not sure where he's TPing to, but might have decided against it. Could have been to that bristleback. Bristleback now has a foot. Oh and we're gonna see Kuku get gone on by Mr. Nonsuch. Can Nonsuch do it? Nope, he's getting he's just stunned up by the Wizard Birds and the Wizard Sun. He's getting brought down. Yellow is looking for something. He has a Blink Dagger on the way. Doom is going to use the Sheaves, which he has pushed it off. So Mr. Sensei going to Hound, trying to kill off Kuku now. Radiance Burn is doing the job. He's going to get brought down to the Radiance. Pandas is up next. Doom onto the Bristle, and now Bristle's going to book it as fast as he can, as he did not contribute enough to this fight, but he won't really be able to pick it too quickly, that Doom is just doing too much damage and he will be brought down in the end. Triple kill for Sensei here. Oh, doing really well, and actually Venom ends up killing the Slaughter, that is surprising. Venomous Scale appeared to be enough to do it. And it would appear that Dota hates me, so despite the fact that the announcer pack is, uh... Not Rick and Morty. It's just gonna. It's gonna just Dyer's use it anyway. Tower is under now, with Doom having the Shivas, I think most likely Ags is the correct choice next. There is a Bristleback in this game, and Ags will disable his passive. Huge Echo Slam that comes out immediately, brings down Sensei. Longfar is looking to the next one. Hobo Cannon gets a double kill as his Lina also gets down. Longfar able to kill off Kuku though before he gets brought down here. Triple kill for Hobo Cannon in the end. That Echo Slam, Kuku, he had some great ones last one, last time. He's having some great ones this time too. Able to kill them off, they are able to finish off the bottom tower. So Cherry Hill East doing pretty well in that, that aspect, but they do end up all, uh, they do end up losing everyone who is there to this Venomatsa, who does not have Radiant's an bottom tower quite yet. Under Getting close to it though, I know about halfway, actually a little bit more than that in fact. Both of them trying to man up now. Amplified Justice just doing no damage since the Bristleback is there. 
Okay, so back going for an uh, Crimson God, it looks like. Interesting choice. Maybe it's for the Chaos Knight Illusion. In fact, I imagine that would be what it is for. Let's see. Butter Storm. Misses the hook on Kentucky Fried Justice. He had it the first time, but he ends up cancelling it. Now Sensei is trying to get the kill. Gonna stun out the Clockwork, cancelling his TP. Clockwork's just trying to get away, and he will get to work down in the end. Creeps aggro to a different target. So. He will be picked off there. Not able to find that Nina kill. Photon now. Looking for the. Uh, Crimson Guard. I'm actually not entirely sure how much that costs because I've never seen it in a game. Tower is under he needs just a little bit more gold and these ancients should get him close. He just needs a few more last hits now. Doom actually going for the Shadow Blade. Please, Doom, get his heads. Aghanims is so important to be able to do well as Doom. Just so, so important. I just don't see how the Shadow Blade is going to have as much of an influence as that Aghanim Scepter. It's pretty much a guaranteed kill every time Doom is off cooldown. Bristle is useless under it. I just feel like he's making such a huge mistake by not getting it here. Just, I, I can't support that decision, personally. Bristle now has his Crimson Guard finished off, especially with this too, Bristle being a Crimson Guard carrier. Although that won't really have too much of an influence. Actually gonna turn off his ring of Basilius as he approaches the creep wave so as not to reveal his position. I see Adilo going for the BKB. Going for a stun up. Photon maybe as he does not have that blink. Doom almost has his uh Shadow Blade with a Midas, he should be able to do it. Yeah, he will have it finished up. Just like one more lost it. Not that one, that one won't be the one. Yeah, with this devour though, he will have it. And hopefully he starts building an Aghanim Scepter because that's something that he really, really desperately needs. Sensei's gonna get spot out a little bit by the rocket flare. Does he have his assault force now? Yes he indeed does. Keep his bottom to farm up some more, push out this wave a little bit. Really utilizing the map as hard as he possibly can. Not quite at 10 last hits per minute. It's still at the top of the net worth, just as is the nature of being an alchemist. I'm gonna bring out Visage Birds as they go in for a Roche. Gotta be careful here because Iron High School definitely know they're gonna smoke up big Echo Slam incoming. He goes towards Echoes. Immediately gonna bring down a Leaf Eagle and the Alp is quick to follow up. Duke goes out onto Photon. She just got hits up. He's trying to do the damage he can, but it's just not enough. They immediately lost to, and the Doom is just not doing enough work onto Photon here. Photon just doesn't care, he's just running around in the fight. And now Mr. Nonsludge will go down. Five man wipe for Aragon High School. He's, this, these Echo Slams from Kuru he's really been the MVP of this game so far. He's doing so much work with the Pogo Cannon to work with the Polo Control just as much and he will now have his Agnum Scepter and an Aegis to boot. That will mean in the next 80 seconds that will be an Ag's Poison Nova. They've really got to watch out on the side of Cherry Hill East. Now, I still think that Cherry Hill East are in a really favorable position. The gold lead has been equalized but it's mainly an up gold so you can't really take that too heavily. And really, once Doom gets his axe, he should be able to delete a hero. Radiant's right now, the problem is more that Aragorn High School is just deleting heroes before anyone else is. So, rather than starting the fight, two v uh, five v four or five v three or whatever, they are starting the fight uh, three v three or, or three v four even. Not even actually. I mean, Tilwell was selling at 3v5 before Doom gets his Doom all off. It's just not really having the impact that you would like from a Lina and a Doom. You would expect them to be able to find a lot of kills and really win these fights since they can so easily shut down people, but they just can't. Whistleback now has a pipe finish off, so he is very, very tanky. 
has resistance to physical 50%, same with his magical resist. Just not going to be taking too much damage. Alina is well far away from her Ags. Just bottom of the net with only 2.2k gold. This is something so rare to see. Ownage. See, actually, up gets brought down at the top lane. Things are not looking good for Terry High East as that alcohol is just swinging the gold so heavily in the favor of Aragon High School for the second time this game after an early game. Pandas is going to spot out Kentucky Fire Justice. He's going to go for the kill. He should be able to get this. It's just going to go down almost instantly. But will he be a revenge kill with that Doom Shadow Blade? They should be able to get it. He's going to mech up though. He's just going to TP away. They have no way to cancel it except the Saloon Crush comes off cooldown. Long way. Hook blocked by the Ancient Riding, which will keep the Rada Storm. They're trying to finish off these Visage Birds as that one gets stunned, but can still fly around. <coughs> Rada Storm... <coughs> On his way to that Aghanim Scepter now. And it's off. Sitting at 1300 gold. He's probably going to have it pretty soon. Uh... Only needs a little bit more for that. But already having that point booster finished up. I think I'm gonna courier for him. Oh, he has it finished, okay. Uh, it's it's done on the courier, he just needs to deliver it when he feels like it. Hopefully he does not forget about that. Oshika now going for that Veil of Discord. That is gonna do so much work with this Venomancer Axe. And this Echo Slam. This is going to be so hard for Aragon High School here. I just, I, I'm really feeling like it's all coming down to this doom though. Radiance top tower is under the Midas just isn't providing enough to be worth it. Short got him fast levels, but he was getting fast levels fine in the off lane. And Devour is enough for the gold, and then he got the Shiva's Guard, which is pretty good, you know, you can slow people's attack speed and their move speed, do a little bit of extra damage in a team fight. Then you got it, got the Shadow Blade. The Shadow Blade is basically just like a, a bad version of the Blink on Doom, because if they know you're coming in, you can't really do much, and, and even if they even if they don't know, then you still want to get that Shadow Blade hit out of Invis. Theoretically, you could use it to cast Doom without having to worry about reactions to the long cast point. But it's just a waste, wasted efficiency that could easily be substituted Dyer's with a blink dagger, and especially attack. the lack of an ags that's hurting Radiant's him in this game. Bristleback just attack. able to go to town in these fights. Last fight he got doomed, he didn't even Dyer's care, he kept running forward and attacking, because he was just Radiant's still had Bristleback up. He wouldn't be able to cross trade him, but he's just an ego so good, but like, he doesn't really need to. Meanwhile, Sensei's been pushing up the top lane. He does not have Radiant's his bottom tower BKB quite yet, and they're going to be pushing into the base. He's trying to farm up as hard as he can. He could go for the racks. There are TPs available on the storm and everyone, but they need to force someone back. Pogokan's actually going to get doomed immediately, though. And then he comes the Slithering Crush from Elgato. One pass taking so much damage. They need to kill off Pogo Cannon before you get his ult off. Big Echo Slam brings down the Doom Dealer. But there was an Aegis, so he'll be able to get his ult off. Very soon, anyway. Hobokan has blinked. He's gonna blink forward. Oh, onto two. Hitting Eldado. And Sensei. Sensei now has his BKB. Does he want to use it? Oh no, he's not gonna have buyback now losing his BKB. He's gonna try and do what he can. Kill off Hobokan in not such a gruesome way, though. But a storm and Hobokan are both gonna be brought down here. Photon looking to be the next one here. As Sensei is going to town with this BKB. He's trying to run away now. He's gonna get brought down by the Visage Familiars. They can't miss from the Radiance. But the only supports. The supports are the only people remaining in this fight, and the Creepwave is so far away, they can just not do the damage that they want to this tower, and they have to watch out for Eldaro. Eldaro, as he is coming back to the fight very quickly. And yeah, they're both just going to run away. So Eldaro is trying to finish off the Visage Familiars. Will be able to bring them down. No, just needs one more attack, and it's over the high ground. He can blink, but probably not the choice that he wants. I'm trying to bait him up here, I think. Hmm. Let's look at the gold. Very even, very close game, this one. Uh, just... Could swing anyway at any moment, really. Looks like that... It looks like, 
Cherry Hill East was going to be in a bad position when they lost that Rax. Oh, Visage Familiar actually ends up getting killed off here. Not resummoned. Well, she can know this feel. When, uh, when they lost, when they took that fight, it looked like it was going to be so bad for them as the Doom was used on someone who had an Aegis, but it just it didn't really end up mattering in the end, and now Hobo Cannon, he's going to have that, um, Doctoring Core. That's really going to be doing a lot of work. Oh, we're going to see Rudder Storm, though, gets run on here. We're going to gonna whiff the stun a little bit, but he's running right into Monslash, and the Doom, Doom actually used it. Ooh. Uh... Almost got away with it, so actually was probably needed there, especially since he has an Aghanims and could have like made some sick hook plays. So okay, Doom used to get a kill. This Ogre Club is going to do a BKB, I would imagine. Still though, need that Ags, I feel. I actually 100% need that Ags against the Bristleback. Completely ruins that hero. He just can't do anything. And is just not even going to take any damage. He's going to regen it by the time the stun lands with the minimal stun damage. Now he's kiting Sensei a bit, but he should be going down to get stunned up, it up, and just brought down almost immediately. Yep, Doom is indeed going for the Black King bar. Pretty close to it too. With this devour, he will in fact have it. Gonna deliver it up. Meanwhile, up at top lane, Photon has been trying to get the Rax. He's trying to get away. It's stunned up him. TP is available. He might just TP right now. In fact, this would probably be the bet for the best bet. Kentucky Fried Justice needs to get the stun. Oh, too late. Not throwing it out. Kentucky Fried Justice just still no farm at all. Both supports for the side. Cherry High East not getting anything. Mr. No Such is finally gonna have that uh, armlet though. Let's see. Just needs a tiny bit more. Gold. Comparison to people like Cuckoo though, who's almost matching the one position for Cherry High East. It's just not really that much. Odello is gonna pick up the Solar Crest now. Pretty good choice, I would say. Do they have one on their team already though? No, he's the only one with the Solar Crest. Very necessary choice then to be able to buff up his carry or put it, it on an enemy and that's going to be a lot of minus armor. Just the solar crest and amplify damage alone that is 20 minus armor and then you throw an aux corrosive skin or acid spray. I always call, call that corrosive spray or something like that. On top of that you're looking at 37 mar uh, armor reduction. That is going to do a lot. Is there even anyone who has close to that amount of armor? on the side of Aragon High School. No, no, oh, first of all, uh, Visage actually, from his passive, Visage does have 44 armor, but that gets cleaned up pretty quickly, and then I imagine he's actually got quite a bit, so that will be able to bring him down to zero, he's really just gonna go down quick. Now it appear that Cherry Hill East looking for a Roshan. Rocket Flare is going to fly out and spot them. Sensei just goes in. He doesn't have his ult activated. He can get closer down here. There's nothing in. Roshan's going to BKB and activate it. Doom goes out onto Rudder Storm here. Rudder Storm's going to be brought down immediately. Hobo Cannon tries to throw the ult off, but it's just blown up. He does actually get it out, but it's not hit anyone. Now Photon, he's going to use Crimson Guard. He's going to use Pike. He's trying to get away. Stun is only ready. From Sensei, he's going to throw it at Photon, he's going to kill Light, takes no damage as he hits him on the back. Solar Crash is flying out onto Photon here, three armor things sitting above his head. Level well, Death will be used, but they just can't kill Photon, he's too techy. Blink forward, hits on Kuku and Pandas. Not going to be able to get anything out of that as Photon's just going to back up. Solar Crest buff thrown out on him, now they might look for a cheeky high ground play. No. Iron High School is not going to fall for that. But Cherry Hill East losing no one is just going to go back up, try to go for the rush. Echo Slam is on the ready though. Could he go for the big Echo Slam play? How stuns himself. Venomancer block back, Clockwork Florida back. They're going to have to get out quickly. Echo Slam, Blink forward, Veil. Odilo is able to get away. Sensei, though. 
He's gonna get half health, but he has so much regen, he might go for Kukri now. He's gonna get stunned up, two man hook shot from the clockwork, and now Sensation's getting burst up. He's gonna get brought down. He has the Aegis, but he does not have the Alchemist ultimate once he respawns, and he should be brought down almost immediately. Oh, went forward from Ildilo, trying to secure his escape. He will actually do it. In fact, Ildilo able to finish off the Earthshaker now. He's just gonna try and TP out. He will make it. Oh, and again, Alpul. Whew, that is that was a close one for them. Cherry Hill East able to successfully escape with by the skin of their teeth. Uh, skin of their pants. Uh, I mean. So Alk picks up that Bash and no buyback. Ooh, this could be risky. They might look to push the base now. Lena, still trying to get that Eel Scepter, still so far off. Oh, Sensei is manning up, but does he know how many people are in the area? This might not be the move that you want, Sensei. Odilo blinks towards the blade mill, is there, stunned doing quite a lot of work, but Rudder Storm will be brought down, so everyone just bails on him. And actually, he's already dead. After the buyback. They do end up losing the tower to the Visage Familiars. They should be happy with that exchange regardless. And let's look at the gold graph. It is heavily in the favor of Cherry Hill East. The last three fights are going so good for them, getting that Aegis, able to kill off quite a few as well, and then escape, swinging them up to around about 8,000 net worth. Exactly the point they want to be at. Especially with this Alchemist who slowly falling off in his farming. He was farming very quickly in the early game, getting that super fast radiance, but now having a bit of an issue with it. Almost the same net worth as his doom, still very far above the highest net worth for Aragorn High School, but not really what you want at this point. You want him like super, super far above. In fact, if we look over to the gold per minute, he's only sitting at 847, which is around about average for an alchemist. And really, you want to be hitting that 1k mark Especially when you get a really fast farming item without much contestion. Back to the stream though. Oh, he's eating his scepter. That's why he wasn't building it. Okay. Not entirely sure when this exchange happened, but Doom has been fed a scepter by the alchemist. I just feel like, even though the alch can do that, you know, it's just not worth it. To delay the scepter this long, he does have it now, so it's not as if he's not getting it at all. But it's just—is it too little, too late? Uh, I, I don't think so. Actually, I think this is—they're really just going to start winning fights now since they've been winning it without the scepter. I really hope he hasn't had this the entire game. I've just been blind. That would be embarrassing. Doom's going for that refresher open now, though. I was about to be mad, but then I saw the synth. Oh, all grow cannons going on on here. Sensei is still moving quite a fast speed. He's going to get fucked up by Radix. Then our ultimate goes off onto two. BKB off immediately. Cobra Cannon gets brought down. We want a Radix Storm. There's an Agnum Scepter thing. And now Radix Storm should be going down with these. Echo Slam comes out. Sensei is going to burst it. He misses. Oh, Sensei gets brought down. Odilo gets a three man slithering crush. Sensei is going to buy back immediately. He's trying to win the game here and now. Brings down Kuku with one single swipe. Bashes up Photon. Photon really needs to be brought down now. Stun goes out onto Pans. Are they looking for him? Everyone's just getting tired. Photon's doing so much work with this. No ultimate on the Alchemist for a little while in this up. They have no detection, so now Longqua should be able to just get Pandas here. He needs a level death. It's not gonna be enough. Longqua is gonna get bored down. Up throws out the stun. Can bring down Photon now? Needs a bash, needs anything. Blink is up in one second. No, it gets cancelled. He needs to sit back a little bit while he waits for it to get up. Should be able to go it for it now. No, he misses. Pandas will go down though. Oh, just so much armor though. He's getting chased all the way into base. Eventually he does get blown down. Where's that bristle back? Photon up next on the menu. Stun misses again. Odeo will end up going down, but the dash is able to bring down Photon. Immediate buyback from Photon. No one else is left alive, and Sensei is just gonna be like, I gotta get out of here. Oh, he cancels the TP though. He's trying to go for Photon. His ult is up soon. He's gonna throw out the stun. If Photon dies here, that's no buyback, and it could be game. Photon? Does get brought down, 109 seconds on the sideline with no buyback, TPs are getting cancelled all over the shop. Sensei's gonna be looking for the Strax now, Visage Familiars have their stun in 3 seconds, Rudder Storm is here, we don't have a do for him this time. 
Stun gets thrown out, but he should be going down now. We're going to see Sensei just failing. He knows that he can't go in any further. Has that Abyssal Blade now, but just unable to continue the fight with everyone respawning. In the end, Bristleback uses buyback. We're actually going to look at that fight recap. And I thought Rudder Storm was hooking something big just then. Uh, so in the end, this does not show all the kills, just the little scuffle at the end. Is the buyback used? So now let's actually take a look over to the buyback status. No one except the Visage has it. So this next fight could really be the game decider unless people can farm up their buybacks. Doom needs his, so the only ones on cooldown right now that like will they actually have them even if they're, when they're off cooldown? Yeah, they will. Okay. Yeah, the ones on cooldown right now. Okay, so it looks like Dia will have most of this and Radiant will have most of this by the time the next fight breaks out, unless it breaks out right now. He's looking for the go. He's going to Shadow Blade up. They don't have detection for him. He's going to go for Hobo Cannon here. Hobo Cannon is going to be the choice. He's going to get duped up immediately. Blink Forward from the Dillo. They're immediately going to pick up the distance. That was such a big deal, but last fight. Hobo Cannon gets brought down. He has no buyback. Rudder Storm is going to be the next target. Rudder Storm is going to get brought down. They need it. And they're just going to push for this throne. Bristleback is still dead, but once he respawns, he won't have buyback anyway. And he'll be fighting 2 v 5. This legend, of course, does have the buyback, but will he want to expend it? He most likely will have to. Photon TP's in, there's no Doom available for him. The Refresher Orb is actually on the way, though, so this could come into play here. She just comes out onto two. Cuckoo's looking for that Echo Slam. He needs to just press it. No, he gets brought down. No buyback on him. Echo Slam are completely unused, and now Photon's going to have to defend 1v5. There's two people alive. There's two people with buybacks. They're both going to use it. They're going to TP in, and now... Cherry Hill East, they're gonna go back as quickly as possible. Refresh is gonna be used. Long Qua, does he wanna throw it out onto the Bristleback? It would be quite an easy kill if he did. But no, they're just gonna back up. Not gonna go for anything else. In the end, they just managed to get the tier 3 tower. That is all. But Aragon High School do lose 1800 gold from all, from all of that. Buyback's not available on Doom, he's gonna need it soon. And they use true buyback. So if you look at buybacks now, not available on anyone except Earthshaker. He doesn't have enough gold though. Uh, anyone except the uh, the Vistage, I mean. On cooldown for everyone except the Earthshaker for the Dire and the Visage. Available for no one on the Radiant, but Doom almost has it. And... Slaughter almost has it. This will really be the deciding factor of this game, the buybacks. Last fight looks like it was going to go down, but luckily, Bristleback was able to hold by himself for long enough for his teammates to get their buybacks back up, and then for them to be able to scare off the aggressors. Roshan will be spawning in two more minutes. This could be really the deciding moment here. Sardar now has a Desolator, so that is a lot of minus armor. So this Doom, his refresh is on cooldown for 100 seconds. Used it last fight, maybe thinking he wanted to go in. Or oh, they're actually going to smoke up. Looking for that Roche. And actually the creep's just going to block him out. Uh, he's just going to run in anyway. They see Roche doesn't respawn, so now they're going to rotate over. Who's going to be the Doom target here? Doom is quite a little while away. Actually, you know, he's right up on his front lines and he's going to go in. He's going to Doom on Photon, finally. That is going to really stimmy the Bristleback's impact on this fight. Pogo Cannon, oh, and the Echo Slam. Both managed to get those off, but everyone has their BKBs up, so it's just not doing enough. Cuckoo's getting four stuff away. Cuckoo running away. Meanwhile, Sensei is trying to go into Photon. Sensei's going to be able to bring down Photon. No buyback on him. He's going for Pandas now. going to bring down Pandas, as we see on the back lines. That's five, baby. The Visage five. gets, the Earthshaker gets brought no down by the Lina as well, Lina. Finally having that Eel Scepter quite far off her Ags, but will this really matter? And will she just get it brought for her by the Alchemist anyway? He now has a Moonshot, they're just going straight for the throne though. They want to make sure that they can secure this, knowing that the next fight could be quite dangerous. All the minutes, he's sitting close to 1k, his sword is brought up. Uh, trying to find that buyback status. Only available for Lina now. About to be up for Arthur Magic, he'll have it once it is. But 
It's just gonna be GG. Aragon High School calls it. And Cherry Hill is to take game two. A lot closer game than before. Let's actually look at the final score. They do manage to get 25k gold by the end, but I imagine that's largely due to Alchemist and the fact that they were able to take so many good fights. In the early game, they looked like they were going to win it very easily, and then the mid game was shaky, but they managed to pull it back in the end. Doom finally getting his Aghanim Scepter, and you can just see the turnaround. As I said, he really needed that. Once he got it, they just started winning fights non-stop. And there we go, that's the game. Cherry Hill East will take game two in best of two. They win both. And that's it. Congratulations to them. That will be the final game for today. Unfortunately, we do not have any more planned. But I will be seeing you tomorrow. There are more games coming up tomorrow if I actually look at my schedule. Right now, I can tell you just how long. Actually, we may have a game three. Uh, not not a game three. Another game. Uh, I just need to find out because there was one more person who requested a game, but the time was not available uh, at the current time. But he is saying that they're waiting for Caster for the next game. So maybe we'll be able to have another exciting game here. Don't know if we can top, top that one though. A lot of back and forth action going on. That will be game two. Uh, I'll play music until I can find out what the deal is. The stream will be up until then too. Uh, don't go anywhere because I'll be informing you once I know what the deal is. Whether or not we are ending or we will continue. So, we'll find out soon. Alright, we're actually going to be finding out right now. They uh, were forced to start the game, they they waited too long for it. And so yeah, that was our last game, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Before I go though, I have to give a shout out to all of our sponsors. Twitch, New Egg, Tespa, Rocket, MSI, Jinx, and Loot Crate. Shout out to all of them, they are the people that help HSL run, give us the funds we need to survive and provide this service to you all and the people playing, of course. Today's teams were Aragon High and Cherry Hill East. Ar uh, Cherry Hill East took both games. I recommend watching them because they were both pretty exciting, especially the second one. I've been your caster for today, Icarus. You can find me on Twitter at IcarusDotaGG. I tweet a lot of stupid jokes and stuff about Dota, as it's pretty much my entire life. I am obsessed. That will be it for today, though. I will be back tomorrow at... And I am a fool for not checking my schedule. I'll be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. That is 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you want to tune in with more games. And actually, I believe there might be a little more than uh, more games on that day. But that will be it for now. Hope you've all enjoyed watching. This has been Icarus Dota. And I'll see you tomorrow for more exciting